Well, a massive housing development is under review in Leita Valley. The project would bring more than a thousand new homes and townhomes to the area. The proposed site is along Thorpe Road and Highway 195, a few miles north of the recently approved Marshall Creek housing development that we told you about recently. Jordan Smith is live at that site tonight, and Jordan, this is this would be a massive project if it gets the green light. Oh yeah, this is a huge project. It would transform about 170 acres of land here behind me into a thousand new townhomes slash single family homes. We actually found out about this from a letter that somebody sent us asking us to look into this project. And while the prospect of new houses coming to the Leyta Valley might be exciting for some, others that live here are worried that this would create a whole lot of congestion on the roads here. Along scenic, windy Thorpe Road, you'll find rolling meadows and endless trees. A developer is hopeful to give those views to 1,000 new families with the Victory Heights development. On your screen here is a rendering of what the project would look like. It'll bring new housing, but a familiar headache for drivers. So one of the concerns pointed out in this letter is that this project is going to bring hundreds of cars onto Thorpe Road. They'll have to navigate through two of these old railroad tunnels, and then at the end of the day, those cars are going to have to come back out here to 195. So there's concern that this would really clog up this area. In fact, according to the traffic impact study done for this development, Thorpe is currently being used by about 1,200 drivers every morning. This project would add about 600 more cars to the peak morning total. All of those cars and trucks would have to navigate this two-lane road. But with future infrastructure projects down the pipe, like adding an acceleration lane to Highway 195 and expanding Lindakee to Thorpe, Developers are hopeful this project will unfold in conjunction with those upgrades. The city says the Victory Heights project has been received and the application is under review. And back in May, the city of Spokane passed a moratorium on housing developments within city limits. And you might be asking, why would this project be considered if there's a moratorium in place? Well, there was kind of an asterisk with that in that any product that was submitted prior to that moratorium going into effect could still be considered. So in the next couple of days or maybe even the next week, we'll keep an eye out on whether or not the city moves uh, in one way or the other when it comes to this project, but we'll keep you updated as soon as we find out. Reporting live in Leitaw Valley tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.